Hola, it's Gabby here from Crafty Gabby and today we're going to make a wire doll. I just ensembled the body, making the neck and the arms. Um, I cut 20, 24 inch uh, wire, then I'm going to start um, twisting it the way that it's assembled, something like a body. Uh, you can do the legs or the thorax, um, the arms as long as you want just try to ensemble a body as you see there I make a neck and now I'm going to count 3 inches to make the arms in this case I made the arms a little bit long than I used to do it and normally do 2 or 2 and a half inch I make 3 because I want her to hold something then after I do the arms I'm going to uh, leave a little bit for the um, chest, thoracic part, and then the legs. The legs also can be as long as you want. Uh, it's for that I cut 24 inches because that gives you um, space to place a little bit more with the uh, wire. You, uh, for the legs, you don't have to put them double off the arms. I did because I have a little bit more of um, the wire and I just twisted, twisted up, but it didn't went all the way up. Um, as you see here, and counting the legs are also going to be uh, three inches, and then the rest of the wire is going to be up. But it, um, like I said before, it's not going to be all the way up. One when you have what doing this with uh, pliers, tr press very well the corners of, of the the corner of the neck, and we're going to press the corners of the legs. But we are not going to do it with the arms because we need a little bit of uh, loops <clears throat> in the arms. Sorry, uh, I'm using this tape. You can use painter tape. Or uh, using this, this, this is a medical tape that is very, very porous. They have um, um, it's for using with bandage or stuff, stuff like that. I really don't remember how it's called, but I'm just going to add it in the place with the, let's say where the joints of the doll are, like with the a wire meat, um, or it's hanging by itself, like in the legs. I have a, two pieces of wire that getting out. I'm just going to wrap tape there. After I do this, I'm just going to grab a um, piece of aluminum paper. You will see that in a few seconds. I'm just getting ahead of me again. Um, you're going to grab a little bit of aluminum paper and make a um, if we could take a pier ball, like um, yeah, like a pier, but you can make the the whatever you want. You can make la, um very skinny, very um fat, or and you can make it whatever you want. And then after that, with the same tape, I'm going to wrap everything, everything, the aluminum paper, the arms, everything. I'm not going to leave anything without this um, tape. When the doll is all wrapped, well, I say before that I didn't leave anything, I left the corner of the hand because I need those loops to put what she's going to hold. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to grab my DMC floss. This is the same one for uh, cross stitching. Um, we're going to leave it the complete um, thing. We have say strands of um, thread. And we're going to start wrapping in the bottom of the neck and we're going to be up and then down but don't wrap all the way up leave a little bit because there that, that little bit we're going to put the head I uh, will say um, a 
pair of an inch or something like that leave a little bit just just the tip and then you do an x line in the chest part together with the neck and then you going to one of the arm and then you will wrap it all the way and when you get to the loop you cut the the thread there and you put a needle and then you start going in and out of the loop trying to wrap everything when you finish wrapping the loop you're going to take the needle out and you're going to wrap all the way up uh, uh, to the top part it's for that that you have to cut this um, in a way that you are going to be sure that you're going to have enough thread to uh, wrap all the way the arm to the top and a little bit to the chest that way we get the guarantee uh, that it's not going to be unwrapped because we're going to glue it in the top of the arm and we do this in both arms and also we do it in the legs and when you get to the legs don't do it all the way to the bottom you leave a little bit because we're going to uh, a stamp here in a piece of wood and we need a little piece to get inside the wood for the for the chest for the chest part we can do several things we can do a lot of wrapping a lot of wrapping uh, with the in top of the aluminium paper or we can add a little bit of um, felt or we can do in the case that I did right now that if I was taking the shape of the doll and in a piece of felt and um, stitch it it's it, it going to look like uh, the same shape that I have but if you want the a little bit simple just wrap the top part in a rectangle of felt and that's it we need a little bit of felt because we're going to stitch stuff to this doll, like uh, the shirt and the pants to her. As you see here, I already cut like the shape of um, the same shape she has as a pair, and I'm going to cut, uh, um, sorry, sewing all the sides and also the bottom part. It's very easy, even if you grab the tape or the aluminum paper, it's very easy. The needle is going to go through easily. This is no problem. When you finish your uh, stitching in the felt, we're going to grab two pieces of um, ribbon and we're going to do double sided stick tape and we're going to wrap it inside the uh, borders inside. That way we um, don't have to stitch. This is an easy way to do this and you can stitch it but um, it's going to take you longer and this type of ribbons uh, when you put needles through it, it get like a lot of marks and stuff. But this is a, a, a good way to do it. Then you're going to ensemble two of these, and you're going to stitch it uh, in the in the felt, the way I'm doing right now. That way, it is going to be the top part of the dress. This is an easy way to make a dress for hair. It's a, a different ways you can make a pattern with a shirt or a dress, a complete dress, stuff like that. But this is the easiest way to do this. Then after you um, stitch both, we're going to cut a one inch rectangle. It's going to be longer, but it's going to be an inch, um, a little bit bigger than an inch because we wrap the corners. The, top corner the bottom corner you don't need the as you see here and i going to wrap around the door and i'm going to cut it with leaving a little bit of space because you have to wrap it inside out no way yeah and um make a little of hem there and then stitch it and you can stitch it in itself or you can stitch it to the felt 
I cut it a little bit longer than I need and I'm going to um, cut it in a few minutes. I stitch first the first layer and then I stitch when I wrap it, I stitch the second uh, bar. Um, I stitch both. If you don't want to, you you have you can keep the first stitching and do this wrap it very well, hold it very well and stitch just the second one in top of the first one without stitching the first one. I don't know if I explain myself. But okay. After I finish stitching this, um, we're going to do the skirt for this um, dress. The skirt is also very simple. It's going to be a rectangle, a little bit bigger. I think I cut it like uh, 5 inch. No, sorry, like 3 to 5 inch, something like that. And it's going to be long. Long, I think it was like, um, let me see, five more inch, I, I believe, or no, le less than that, let me think, la, 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 la. I lost my track of uh, measurements, and I lost the paper where they have them, well, it's about that, it's like, yeah, five inch, As you see there, I'm sorry about this, I didn't remember. No, it's three inch, yeah, three inch long. Um, you can count there, it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like A long. Yeah, about A long. And um, after that, I'm going to stitch, um, To decorate the the bottom part of the skirt, um, when I'm finished doing this, I'm going to put the two sides together. And make a stitch in the side, and then when I finish that, I'm going to turn the inside out. And here is the this gear. The stitching part has to be in the middle, and you have to put it in the back of the door. It's going to be your um, your back in the door. Do a gathering and stitching in the top of the skirt. You don't have to do anything in this because when we stitch it, we're going to stitch it in a way that we cannot, we we don't need um, a, a finishing border in here. When you do this, you will see that I put the skirt. with the, t the bottom part to the top and is the right side is inside and you go all the way to the shirt of the doll and then you stitch leaving a little bit a little bit of the shirt um, down as you see here and then you Pull very well your thread and you stitch. And the way the shirt it won't move. E even if we do this and this is very well attached to it, I just want to stitch all around and when I finish the, the stitching, I do two loops with my thread and I do the final stitching.
when you finish this just pull your skirt down and voila it's ready it's a very fluffy um, dress now that you have now now we're going to um, leave her to the side and we're going to start making her head um, we grab a, a small piece of um, wooden bowl and we're going to color it with acrylic uh, paints for make this easy I just grab a skewer and put the, the little ball um, inside the skewers and the way it's going to be sorry my dog is grabbing stuff in my craft room uh, it's going to be a lot easy to color it okay now um, you color the eyes and the mouth first with a pencil and you do this um, in the way you is easier for you um, in this case I'm just doing like um, a shape of an eye I will say but you can do just two black dots or stuff like that um, I like it both way I have both way um, this doll made uh, they look more like fantasy more whimsical when they look uh, when they have the black dots and when they have the eyes they look more like um, trying to be realistic but not really um, for the eye you color everything in white and then when you're going to color the color of the eye the iris of the eye you just put the darker color you're going to use the same color but i mean the, the dark part of the color you're going to put in the top and then you're going to um blend that to the bottom and the bottom part of the eye has to be um more light and then the mouth and that's it i'm using my um this small hair dryer to help me to dry the paint a little bit faster and make two layers in almost everything is two layers except for the lines that I'm going to do in brown the nose and the eyebrows and the around the eyes and the mouth I, I decided to put it in brown dark brown I use black too it, it doesn't matter I just decided to use brown for this one and when you finish um, doing this, we're going to try to make her to look a little bit vintage. We're using uh, pastel chalks to do the blush on her and this we have to be retouched after we uh, do the vintage looking. For the vintage looking I'm using a gel, a brown gel. These gels um, are going to put, if I can find it because this one I have it for a long long time but I have I find something similar I will put it in the description below or if I found this one I put it in this one comes in two colors one is light and dark this is the dark one you can use whatever you want depending on the how um, old you want the doll to be oh, sorry for all that noise in the house today um, and after that you clean it the same thing if you clean it faster it's going to be alive um, or looking it's you clean it uh, and leave it a little bit like 
one minute, two minutes, and then clean it, it's, it's going to look darker and old dish. It's depends on the look that you want to get. And after that, I'm going to use this uh, Cloritano um, varnish, and I'm going to dip it inside, and then I'm going to leave it a little bit for all the dripping to go uh, down, and then I will stick it to the piece of uh, styrofoam and leave it there. It dry super fast. I just um, in the meantime, I'm going to do uh, another part of her clothes. That we're going to do pants now. Okay, for the pants, you're just going to put your doll in a piece of paper, and you're going to measure the middle top part of the doll, and you're going to put a dot in there. Then you're going to put a dot in the side, then a dot in down, and here I forget a dot. That is what one is a dot that is going to be next to her leg, just right outside part of the 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 leg as you see the the longer line is going to be just right in her middle and then you put all the dots together and you mark a little bit of sewing allowance not too much um something important the top part has to be a little bit longer that way course cover more um or her stomach as you see i make a a semicircle here and I cut it. That way we don't have too many sharp edge. Then uh, you're going to cut this in folded fabric twice. Uh, I'm going to cut this one here and the other one is going to be um, magical appearing in the in the video. Um, yeah, and then we're going to start sewing um, this. I sew everything by hand in this case because it's a small doll. Um, it was entertaining for me. I like uh, doing hand stitching, but it's you are because I am not as good in my machine. Um, if you are good in your machine with the small things, go ahead, do it in your machine. Or is you going to meet this one in a bigger scale? Remember to use a bigger wooden um, ball, um, a little bit of a thicker wire, and you can stitch this in your machine because everything bigger in the machine is better than by hand. When I'm finished stitching the small size, the small size of the pen, I'm going to turn it and the small part that we just saw are going to be in the middle. Then I'm going to do a hand in the pan and after that I'm going to um, sew the the huge shape that is inside the leg. Now we're going to turn the pants right side out and we're going to stitch them on here. You can do the same after dress. You can go around and stitch it or um, you can do as I did here. I just put the pants and make a stitch in the middle of, of the back grabbing the felt and grabbing the pan. Then I go all around without grabbing the felt and pressing the fabric that way it's going to be um, uh, gathering and the pan is going to fit. Then I do another stitching in his front belly and where it should be his chair belly button and then uh, with the felt and then going again the other half without grabbing any felt and gathering the fabric that way the pant will um, fit very good on hair.
now that her dress is ready we're going to glue the head uh, after the head is all dry I'm going to grab a little bit of silicone glue and I'm going to uh, put uh, her uh, head inside the neck I'm just taking the glue out the rest and now with the side I grab yellow hair and I grab brown hair and red hair and I did like more the um, red hair this is merino wool and I'm just going to stitch a line in the top part that way she going to look like she have um, a side road in her head as you see here and I'm just going to glue it the same way I glue the head with silicone glue and you can give her a little bit of shape with the wool needle um, in this the case you don't have a wool needle you can use your arm you wet your uh, uh, fingers and you press between your fingers until the head the hair have the shape that you want When you have the hair the way you want, now we're going to glue eyelashes. These eyelashes are small. I'm also going to try to find the link for that and put it in the bottom part of the description or in, uh, and in my blog uh, because these ones are sometimes um, difficult to find. But um, I will do my best to find the link for this. If you cannot find or I cannot find a link for this, um, just use normal, nor, normal, sorry, normal eyelashes, and you cut them a uh, short, shorter, but uh, don't cut it in a straight line. Cut it like um, from the top to the bottom. That way, uh, they don't look kind of. Uh, they look weird if you cut them straight. Try to cut them a little bit messy some longer and some um, shorter than the other ones after we glue the eyelashes i also glue the eyelashes with silicone glue and after i glue the eyelashes i add um black paint in the top of the eyelashes in the top of the line of the eyelashes knowing the eye knowing the wood knowing the face in the top of the um eyelashes um sorry knowing the top of the eyelashes that way you will understand better in the bottom part of the eyelashes, the straight line of the eyelashes, there. So they are explaining this like a good, like too much, but I want them to say it the better way I can say it. And I will apply in the eyes and in the mouth a uh, glossy accent. Then I put them to the side to dry, and I'm going to cut two, three, three uh, balloons. These are latex balloons. And I'm going to wrap uh, a small bowl of uh, a styrofoam. And then with the part of the balloon that I cut, I'm just going to make a double knot in the bottom part of this. After we finish with the balloons, we're going to cut a um, wire, a lot, not a lot, but kind of thinner, uh, it's, it's, it's thin than the other one, um, and then we're going to cut 5 inch, because we want to have like a space for um, 
wrap it in the arms of the doll and I'm going just to stick it inside the balloon it's a little bit hard but if you you, you push it it's it, it going to go through be careful not to go through to the other side of the of the styrofoam because you're going to damage the the latex of the balloon um, you don't need glue for this if you want to be sure you can add a little bit of glue and then stick it inside the balloon but I, I didn't put anything um, a part of this video um, I erased my mistake is where I put the balloons in the hands of the doll but I was playing that and you will see it's super super easy you don't have to um, do too much it's just a little bit of a little loop and attach with the pliers you will see when we finish this uh, we're going to color the stand of the of the doll this is a piece of wood uh, in a shape of a heart and I'm going to color the border with these uh, acrylic markers or paint markers and I'm going to do it in two different colors uh, uh, dark green and a lighter green that way it's going to be a similar color of the grass that I'm going to use for the top when you finish coloring the borders I'm going to use for the top part that is going to be the grass that architects use uh, for their um, samples of buildings and houses and stuff that's what I'm going to glue there and because the back part of that is um, in like a um, craft paper with normal glue is going to be fine you can use wood glue if you want if you like but I use just um, the paper glue that I use for my cars and everything Okay, when we finish gluing this, uh, we're going to open the hole for the the leg. Uh, you open two if you want to stick two legs, the two legs, or you open one if you want to do the same shape that I'm doing uh, right now. Um, I glue a little bit of um, clay on her other leg, and you see i doing the other shoe. And for this shoe, you have to open the hole all the way through we're going, because we're going to stick it in there and we're going to stick it through the shoe and the way she's going to look like the shoe is on. And I also made little tiny flowers. This is a circle that you um, press with a needle uh, the corners five times and that's it. I, I never... Um, I, I didn't show it because I am no good at it. I just tr I'm try to make this shape. And don't forget the little dot in the middle. That's the way they're going to look like flowers. Well, I, I glue the shoe first and then I'm going to glue her with the same silicone glue. And press it really hard inside that little tiny hole that you make in the, in the heart. 
As you see here, the balloons are already attached. I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't know how that happened that I love part of the video. And for this part, it's going to be the bottom of the balloons. Because the top part is, is in wire, I want the bottom part to be lighter and easy to glue uh, fabric with fabric. And I'm going to use um, this uh, thread that is for crocheting. And I'm going to add glue to make it stronger and stiff. And I'm going to wrap it in a pencil to make a little bit of loop. And after that, I'm going to add glue in the bottom part of her ham and I'm going to glue this um, three little um, strands of uh, thread you can do this I'm sorry about that it's just I'm thinking too much before I'm talking so that I get stuck a lot you can do this too with wire but you have to glue them with um, silicone glue or a stronger glue in this case, I'm just going to glue them with um, fabric glue. There I explaining that I stick the, the three balloons with a loop and you may put the loop inside the arm loop and press it very well with a, um, a plier and that's it. They stay, they stay there. I'm sorry I didn't do that. I maybe can do another video soon with another doll holding just one and you can see how I did it but it's very easy um, and I put a bow to top that that way you don't see where the three wires are stuck um, fixing the balloons as you see the strands are already glued and this is it this is the tiny wire doll thank you for watching my videos until next time goodbye